Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, just wanted to pop on and make a quick vid because here's MLS uh, before they scrub it. Got it, oh, 70, 72 images. <clears throat> it's like it's about a. Uh, well, this is a quick grunt before they sanitize it. You can see what I'm talking about, all that stuff flying around. I'll drop the speed down. These are look like about <clears throat> four minute time lapses. At least this thing jumped four minutes every time. So figure these things are flying through in maybe a four minute time lapse. <clears throat> I don't know. But look at it all. It's freaking crazy, man. What the heck? Debris field from the Biru Nemesis system. <clears throat> Got a big planet type object over here. Like I mentioned on the video this morning. I think these are just like magnetic concentric circles. It has nothing to do with the Bible and wheel within a wheel, like someone had suggested. And we're not going to entertain stuff like that on this channel. Anyway, when I know it's a falsehood, especially if it's relative to spiritual matters, it's not gonna not gonna go there. So anyway, check it out. I just want to show it to you. Because usually we see the sanitized version where I think what they do is they peel off maybe who knows how many layers through a computer program or whatever and eliminate all the static and imagine some of this is energy signatures. And I don't mean static, I mean <clears throat> all these objects that are flying around. I don't know freaking crazy there's the big objects you can see them a lot better when they peel off the first several layers and eliminate all this debris field so I'll make a video in the morning <clears throat> and I'm sure this thing will be sanitized by then you can draw the comparison and another reason why I got you on here, the reason I made the video was I wanted to show you that we had another high speed solar wind event pretty much roughly at the same time as the last two nights. However, it didn't last as long. This one began around instead of 07, two nights ago, and I think it was what, 31 maybe last night? It was 0 15, 0 15 midnight 15 UTC minutes UTC started out at 8:28 went to 14:20 these are four minute step throughs 13:37 1200 1491 12:99 12:89 11:40 got the chevron action going on all these homogeneous colors 1038 and 51 1038 1106 739 8882 936 that's when all the plasma is trying to be discharged and I guess it finally got rid of it there so I mean it didn't last super long Started at, what, 15, I said. Went to 51.
the 19 I guess when it really got <clears throat> high here it is over here the 15 that's when it's getting ready to go <clears throat> There's 19, it's 1420, 23, that's 1337, 27, 1200. See all the plasma trying to be discharged. That's why these field lines are so balled up, I think. There's 31, 1491. <clears throat> so we're a full 16 minutes into this event. I think that was the highest one, 1491. Um, crazy stuff, guys. <clears throat> There's 35. You see that big plasma there showing up there. At all these field lines and you can see we got the open field line in the front no field line so that tells me that the earth and this big planet they're linked up maybe not with just field lines but with like a more of a large Type of magnetic connection. I don't know. I'm just riffing here, speculating. Maybe um, we're pulling a little energy from that big planet in order to try to unload all this freaking plasma. There's 39, 1289. There's 1140 at 43. <clears throat> See, the plasma's still there. It's still trying to get rid of it. The field lines are starting to close now. They're turning red. Look at all these. It's some strong magnetic field lines showing up from backside, coming from Nemesis. I'm assuming, and look how far they're looping in. And some of them may. I don't think they're quite connecting to the planet yet, but boy, it's getting close. There's 47 still closed but way jumbled out I mean there's a w way more flux action going on back here than uh, the earth's not in control put it that way this stuff is getting mangled whereas before they used to close remember and they'd be like pretty symmetrical looking and they'd go way out here to expel this plasma energy. <clears throat> now, when they close, they're all jumbled around every which way. Of course, that solar wind might have something to do with it, too. So there's 47. There's 51, 1106. There's 51. 1106, I'm referring to the Nemesis solar wind speed inside the magnetosphere, magnetopause, being recorded by these GOES 1314 and 15 satellite. So all this wind speed is being measured somewhere around 22,236 mile mark. Well, that's exactly where it's being measured from, but it probably extends out into here too. And I'm sure some of it's getting into here. It's just not getting to the earth yet. <clears throat> but I don't know about you. I live in Pittsburgh, PA. We've had pretty strong winds today. And I think it's only going to get worse, guys. And there's the end of the event. Well, almost. I'd say that's still part of it. Look, the field lines are still messed up at 55. And at 59 minutes, let's see how far the, look, 103, still trying to get rid of that plasma, man, Just can't shed it, never did really get rid of it.
<clears throat> so that's what's going on. And like I said, I'm not going to entertain any comments about wheel within a wheel from the MLSO objects or spaceships. Or especially not any comments about the Eye of Ra, which is total occult Egyptian mumbo jumbo. There's no Eye of Ra showing up. It's just what people want to see. If they want to see E.T. come for them. They think ET's their daddy, then they're gonna see the eye of Ra. I'm sorry, that's a falsehood. It's satanic. It's from the enemy of our souls. Eternity's forever, and I'm not playing. Period. So I'm putting out the truth. If you people don't like it, go somewhere else. That's all I got to say about that. Cause uh. There's too much at stake here to be playing around, and I'm not going to get in any debates with people. I've been doing this <clears throat> for almost eight years now, and I've been through tons of debates, tons of confrontations through social media, YouTube, and whatever, email, with all kind of people, co-intel pros, call people. I mean, I've been through the gamut of confrontation, and I'm not going to, it doesn't serve any purpose. So, I'm going to spend my time trying to put out the truth as best I know, and pray and hope that as many people as possible get it before Jesus returns, because he is coming soon, and when he comes, it's going to be for the people who are believing in him and looking forward to his return. And they'll be taken out. And then the great tribulation begins when the sixth seal gets open. <clears throat> That's when the wrath of the Lamb begins. And <clears throat> I have to believe that this Nemesis Nibiru system is going to trigger the sixth seal. If you look below in my comment section... A little bit I could find about history, historical references to a 3,600 year passing. It all pretty much lines up with maybe even Noah back in Noah's day. That's 5200 BC, so that's about 7,600 years ago. And then, of course, the great Santorini volcanic eruption in 1600 BC. So, I mean, it's all lining up. Click this link here. It'll take you to a few references, historical references, about ice cores and the mammoths being flash frozen. I mean, a lot of mammoths flash frozen with vegetation still in their mouth. So that's what's happening. I'll make the video tomorrow because Ace showing that big gap again. So we'll have to see how big it is this time with 10 hours last two days and then today it was this morning's video it was 12 hours discover so far the nemesis backside connection still appears to be predominant there's the blue phi angle solar wind speed pretty much came down density's been leveled off just a hair above normal normal is four to six atoms per cubic centimeter Geospace isn't looking too crazy. There's the pressure. Last four hours, three, four hours. There's the density. We're not getting a lot of waves coming through or anything. But like I showed you, it looks like that's pretty much open space in front of the planet now, in front of the Earth. And didn't even see too many field lines piling up. Let's see. Pull it through. Yeah, well, there's some field lines. But look, when we're having those big solar wind events, that's when it's uh, open. Okay, God bless. Peace, I'm out.